Hello, this is Rick, WB3BIQ, with a uh, short demo of the Wonder 40, one tube 40 meter transceiver. Uh, this is a very nice little kit, well engineered and very solid in its construction, uh, that I got about two years ago and built in a couple of evenings, offered by uh, Dwight Morrison KG4HSY. Uh, this is a very interesting little transceiver because it only uses one tube, it uses a 3A5 tube, which I used to fool around with uh, when I was a, a teenager, way back when, and uh, has a lot of applications. This is a uh, twin triode uh, tube. Half of it is used as the uh, receiver, and the other half is used as the transmitter. And this is a regen receiver. So I'll turn it on and give you a little demo and let you see how nice this little uh, single tube uh, transceiver really sounds on 40 meters. This uses a uh, one and a half volt uh, uh, D battery for the filament, and it uses uh, ten nine volt batteries for the B plus, ninety volts B plus. And for transmit, all you do is push in the. Uh, transmit button has a nice little side tone here's a uh, schematic to show you what it looks like if you can see that or not not too many parts so again this is a regen receiver uh, here's uh, what the inside of this looks like and you can see uh, where you install the uh, the 10 batteries to get 90 volts B plus has a little neon ball right down here for the uh, side tone oscillator and uh, this radio reminds me a lot of the Westkit BN1 transceiver that was offered back in uh, the 1950s. This was a one tube novice transmitter receiver that sold in kit form for $14.95. And uh, not too many hams, I think, bought this back at that time. But it also used the same tube, a 3A5 tube. So uh, this was uh, actually offered by Western Radio uh, offshoot called Westkit of uh, Kearney, Nebraska in 1956-1957 and the inside of this was uh, quite simple this is uh, com completely open in the back of the West Kit BN1 showing the uh, the coils and the uh, 3A5 tube not too much to it and uh, it was said to be able to put out as much as 5 watts with uh, 250 volts on the plate so uh, it's a fine little uh, rig. This uh, Wonder 40 really uh, brought back some nostalgia for me. And that's why I went ahead and ordered it and built it. And you can see it does a pretty good job. So I hope you enjoyed this demo. 
Seven threes from Rick, WB3BIQ.